Setting up the air compressor is critical to getting an accurate parts list. Click the round object labeled COMP and drag it to its desired location. Click the air compressor and move to the right sidebar. All the details should be reviewed. The total horsepower was filled in in the project details page. The height will help the program calculate the amount of pipe needed. This is the height of the outlet typically by the tank. How many elbows are needed? Enter how many extra elbows it will take to get from the main line to the compressor. Compressor outlet thread size. The thread size of the outlet of the tank is important for us to determine the adapters needed. To determine what thread size you have, click the information I. A document will pop up and this will show you how to measure pipe thread. Pipe thread is not measured like a standard bolt, so it's critical you take a look at this. And since it's just pipe thread at the compressor, it might be necessary to get some pipe threaded adapters at a local hardware store, but these are readily available. A typical setup for the compressor is a jumper hose from the tank to a filter regulator mounted on the wall, and then starting the system with a male threaded adapter. So the next step, after choosing what thread size you have on your tank, is choosing the regulator size. Typically we're going to match it to the output of the compressor, but we don't want to go too small so that it's restricting the pipe. Next step is include an inline valve or no in valve, inline valve needed. If your compressor did not come with a shutoff valve, it's a great idea to have one to shut the system off. Include a filter regulator, do not include a regulator. A filter regulator is mandatory to keep the pressure constant to your air system. So if you don't have one already, click Include Filter Regulator. Lastly, how are you going to mount the pipe to the wall? Our standard wall clips or with Unistrut? Typically wall clips are fine. And that's it for setting up your compressor.